Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know this does not work. So Jerry Jones was just on 105 of the fan. You know, Tuesday it is not only Taco Tuesday, it's Jerry on the fan day. And he was talking about Lyle Collins, who we know that uh, this is the fifth week. This is the fifth week. Uh huh. You just have ten million dollars if you do if you cut him. Um, we'd save about about ten million dollars. That's something to think about. Food for thought. Oh, I'm getting a notification that Michael Anthony Fitness responds to Pizzle. When did that happen? Did they respond to me? I never did a video after he did Walter Shane with the belt. I swear it's what it's... Okay, uh, anyway. Um, Jerry Jones was talking about Lyle Collins. We know that Lyle Collins, that whole saga is just kind of crazy. Um, that he had originally gotten a five-game suspension for missing seven um, tests which he felt he had excuses for. Then um, the NFL PA got involved. They got it reduced to two, and he decided that wasn't good enough. And then they, they went to all... Because they probably said some of them, okay, we can understand a few of them. Yeah. So we're going to catch y'all, catch your break. So the arbitrator, of course, then said, you know what, we're going to go back to the original suspension and drop it back at five. So... Lyle Collins decided he's going to put an injunction in to try and stop the NFL. Good luck with that one. So we've heard all kinds of stuff that's come out from the bribery, the alleged bribery of the drug testing official and stuff, and it just sounds bad. And there's only, of course, one game left. Well, Jerry Jones has said, uh, Lyle Collins is out. Regardless if the court decides that um, the, the injunction goes in and he is reinstated, he's out for this week against the Patriots regardless. So we're there with that. Um, the other interesting thing is Jerry Jones didn't exactly comment on the John Gruden situation, but he did say that we are all responsible for our actions and so forth, which is the way it's supposed to be. Um, I've gone on record saying you have to live your life like somebody is watching because now in the information age where everybody's got a cell phone with a video camera that can upload in a matter of seconds, somebody is always watching. And in the meantime, it's time for me to go to work. Got a whole bunch of work to do before I get up the road. And, um, hey, I'm responsible for my actions. I'm Mark Holmes with, of course, Michael Anthony Fitness. Reactions on all social media platforms. Who's getting his belt back? <laughs> no, no, no. What? It's your belt. Ain't my belt. Mm -hmm. I don't want that damn thing. You're the champion. You're technically the champion, but you want it. But 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 you can relinquish it to me after you get it back in the mail <laughs> and, and be sanitized. It. I'm serious. I'm sure that's the same. I'm telling you. Somewhere. They don't need more than some wipes. I said sanitize and wipes. You might need to go to like a nuclear power oh, plant man. and go through like the wash center. Who knows what's happened with that belt? All right. See you guys. Peace.